Now, turning to other news, a court in Los Angeles has sentenced Harvey Weinstein to 16 more years in prison for raping and sexually assaulting a woman in 2013. The 70-year-old is already serving a long sentence for a separate conviction. Sofia Betitza has the story. He was the legendary film producer at the top of his game, with the world at his feet. But Harvey Weinstein became the first major figure taken down by the Me Too movement and was sent to jail. And on Thursday, another conviction for attacking an actress in a hotel room in Beverly Hills during a film festival in February 2013. In court, the victim recounted her trauma. Before that night, I was a very happy and confident woman, she said. Everything changed after the defendant brutally assaulted me. There is no prison sentence long enough to undo the damage. You may say, well, isn't it too late he was sentenced today? It's never too late to argue or to assert a constitutional right that we think has been violated. And it has an impact on thousands of victims in the future. If they are brave enough to testify before a grand jury, and then for some to testify in a court of law, they should have a right to speak their piece and to say how they have been harmed by the defendant in a case. Harvey Weinstein is already serving a 23-year prison sentence for a separate conviction in New York for rape and sexual assault. More than 80 people have made rape and misconduct claims about him, dating back to the 1970s. But he maintains that he is innocent and that all of his sexual encounters were consensual. He called his accuser an actress with the ability to turn on her tears. Please don't sentence me to life in prison, he told the court. I don't deserve it. Weinstein will be appealing. But he's 70 years old, so this sentence means that life and death in prison are now very likely for this once revered Hollywood star. Sofia Bettiza, BBC News.